forging ahead with enhancements in the selection of connector pin terminals, E3 now has the ability to automatically allocate the correct connector pin terminals based on wire gauges or environmental constraints. In the settings, we can specify to use the cross section or gauge of the connector pin terminal to check the wire size and select to use the core or conductor to determine which connector pin terminal to use. We also have an additional filter to specify the finish of the connector pin terminal based on any environmental constraints. Here we have a, a simple project showing a harness sheet with three connectors. You'll notice that connector P1 already has the connector pin terminal set, as these are actually the cavity seals, and these appear when no wires exist on the connector. So, we can drag wires from the database and add them to the harness. First, you'll notice that the gauge is checked to ensure the wire is valid, and if no applicable terminal is found, the connection is prevented. If we select a valid wire, then the terminals are automatically added. Or in the case of the connector P1, the cavity seal is replaced with the valid terminal. As before, adding the wires also adds the wire gauge and colour and destination information to the connector tables. The object-oriented nature of E3 series means wires can be added anywhere in the design, on the schematic sheet or, as we see here, on a tabulated connector sheet. All locations will be updated, as we see back on the harness sheet, all ensuring the manufacturing data matches your design data. Changes can be made to the terminal choice based on the environmental issues. As we switch the attribute from tin to gold, the connectors are automatically updated in the project. This functionality leads to a streamlined approach to the design, fewer errors and improved links to manufacturing. For more information on E3 series from Zucan, please visit our website at zucan.com slash E3 series.